currently your world is the place where you have been interacting with your thoughts with your emotions with your desires with your fears that's your world both on the inside and on the outside but this is not the only world there is this is not the only reality there is just like there is a big city and if you walk away from it there is nature and you can keep on walking farther and farther away even leaving the so called nature away i mean you can go to outer space far away from everything created far away from people far away from nature you can go into a place where there is nothing of course because you are carrying the body a body that has become completely used to living in a certain environment you cannot live there forever otherwise outer space must be the most peaceful environment no noise no disturbance it is only visually it looks very lonely and scary but when you are actually there it's really no emotion no thought no weight your body is not disturbing you you are just floating around somehow if you can simply drift without all that space suit without having to worry about breathing assuming that your body has somehow figured out how to breathe out of space is a very peaceful environment of course it has to be peaceful because disturbance has not been added it's the quietest purest part of existence but see how far you have to go to experience that and it takes a lot of effort to go there because our world is built based on our attachment to a certain way of living now if we have to break away from it we have to put in enormous effort on the inside it is exactly the same but with one big difference on the inside you are not dragging the body along you are moving leaving the body wherever it is when you sit in meditation you leave the body there you put it in a comfortable place and forget all about it you move on the inside you go in search of silence you go in search of stillness you go in search of emptiness keep on searching you will fail again and again because you've not yet figured out where these things are there are patterns that draw you back to the marketplace of life that is why it takes time because it is not natural for you to seek silence because you've lived very unnaturally for a long time unnaturalness has become your way of life eventually you will find secret passageways you will know how to read this landscape you will know which places to avoid which roads to take where to rest where to start walking the internal landscape becomes more and more clear just like a child is totally helpless in the world outside we are totally helpless in our internal realm because we haven't spent enough time there now what is the difference between a child and an adult if not for time adult has spent more time interacting with the external environment where there is a certain sense of familiarity and comfort and understanding that has de- developed which helps in navigating you cannot expect to suddenly walk out into the world as a child and make sense of things 
you don't have the necessary physical resources, mental resources, emotional resources. So the world will seem like a totally overwhelming place. But the very same world, within a matter of few years, begins to respond to your movement. It becomes easier to understand. It's the same way when you think about spiritual rebirth, when you think about enlightenment, it is overwhelming. It seems like an impossible thing to achieve because you are a child being introduced to this totally new landscape for the first time. I just have these flimsy hands and legs and you're asking me to fly. You're asking me to go at the speed of light. You're asking me to be as still as a rock. I'm not capable of all these things. Yes, you are. You just don't know it. You have forgotten it. The only way to get reminded of all these natural inbuilt qualities of who you are is to start navigating that landscape. There is no substitute for inward turning and spending time in that internal landscape. All ideas of spiritual rebirth, all our stories, all our myths assume that it's coming from a place where an individual has experienced this. We are talking about it. We are thinking about it. We want to connect to it. But there is an assumption that it is real. For example, the entire Egyptian civilization stood on this fundamental belief that it is possible to take birth again. Rebirth is real. Death is not the end. It is just the beginning. Where did they get this? You cannot imagine stories like this. If you want to imagine something, why don't you imagine something that is familiar? Why do you want to imagine such an abstract concept of the body dying and then taking birth and it possessing the ability to remember things, carry things forward? It's because it is just an allegorical way of remembering something real, remembering about an actual place where we all belong. Deep down, we know that it's possible to stay alive for as long as we want because aliveness is our very nature. It is only the body that comes and goes. It is the body that is temporary, not the self not aliveness. When the story of rebirth is preserved in allegorical form, in a form that helps us to remember it using imagination, the danger is we start pursuing that imagination on the outside. The kingdom of heaven. It is not an actual place. At least the way we have described it on the outside. It is not heaven. It is not a physical place. But on the internal realm, it is an actual place. It is a real place that you can go to. But inside and outside are two completely different things. If you try to create this kingdom on the outside, you will fail. That is why every attempt to try and create that perfect world on the outside has failed. We've been trying since the beginning of time. A perfect governing system. A perfect education system.
perfect law and order, perfect system of punishment, perfect system of reward. Nothing has worked because on the outside, perfection is an illusion. It's only a striving. That is why as a society, as a group, as a community, we can only aspire for peace and relaxation on the outside, but we'll never get it. Because these things are a part of our being, which can only be realized on the inside.